Okay, this is part two of the video on uh, accounting for taper with a sawmill. Now I apologize for doing this in two videos. The uh, internet supplier that I have is very slow up, see, up uh, load speeds. It's a lot easier for me to put up small videos than a big one. So, what we have here, this side here that you can see, that's where I took my first pass. Now we had the mill set at 14 and a half inches to adjust for the taper on the log. So I took the first pass, then I turned the log, and on the second pass, I turned the log just 90 degrees. Now that's important. You only want to adjust for taper on two sides of your log. The reason is, if you left those tow boards in place and took a third pass, you would have a double taper on your log. You would have a taper on this face over here, and you would have a taper on the top. That's something you don't want. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to release these tow boards, drop the pressure off the jack, tow board down. So I want to make sure that the log comes down tight because I got it dug here. It's Setting up a little bit. There we are. Now the log's down tight on the bunks. All the way up, we're good. So we've adjusted for taper on this log now. We've got two sides that are parallel to the grain on the log. So we can continue now taking passes off this. So what I'll do now is turn that log 90 degrees again. That'll give me three flat sawn faces, and then I'll start and reduce the cant down to whatever size this one here is probably going to go into two by six lumber and one inch boards. But that's just how easy it is to account for the taper on a long saw log or even a short one. If you get a up on the top of a tree, sometimes you get a lot of taper on the top log of a tree. So, I hope that's of some use to you. Have a good one.